every day it's a it's a new day for me and it's one day closer. For some, coming back to work on a Monday morning is a grind. I've been in prison for four years. But not for Norm Solis. I never used any tools out there before and I'm really good at it now, believe it or not. He's serving a five-year sentence for vehicular homicide after driving under the influence and killing a friend. I've been trying to keep out of trouble. <laughs> Rudy Rodriguez is serving a 10-year sentence for dealing drugs. It's awesome. We love it. Especially being out here in the community, knowing that we're doing something for other people. For the past two months, nearly 20 inmates have been spending their days outside of prison installing new furniture at the new state office building in the shadow of the state capitol. Construction started two years ago on the green building, where solar paneling and geothermal wells will reduce heating and cooling costs. The state says the project will be completed on budget and on time. The state patrol and other state agencies start moving in on Friday. Right now I'm at 210 an hour. Using the inmate labor also saves costs, and not just in the short term. The Department of Corrections says this kind of real-world experience for low-risk inmates who have less than four years in their sentences reduces their chances of reoffending when they get out, saving taxpayer money in the future. I'm trying to uh, be a graphic designer when I get out, but um, all these stuff, it's always good to have when you get out. Norm Salas hopes to be home by Christmas. He'd also like to have a job. It's not more about me. It's about my family. It's also, and you know, I don't want him to keep visiting me in prison and you know it's so I gotta step it up and uh, steer my, my life you know on the right path. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.